Last week's return to Sandakan saw me meet up with MRF team member Casey, who showed me firsthand the issue of shark and ray bycatch within the fishing industry and how her self-built GPS-linked time-lapse camera systems allow her to get the data she needs for future sustainable fisheries management solutions. It's been an incredible month working alongside the team from the Marine Research Foundation led by Dr. Nick Pilcher. And I'm heading back to Mamutik Island to catch up with my dive instructor, Mark Hedger. It looks like I'm leaving bad weather behind me on the mainland, but I'm hoping for a sunny day at sea. Mark, apa kabar? Long time no see. Hey, Alex, kabar baik. I'm good. So, how was the Marine Research Foundation? Oh, it's been an amazing and fun fact filled month. I've experienced and learned so much. I proceed to tell Mark about all my adventures with the MRF team from the turtle rodeo around Pula Mantanami to my first trip to Sandakan with Nick and Liana to install a turtle excluder device in a shrimp trawler's net. Then my unforgettable time on the world-famous Turtle Islands Park with Dr. Nick and those gorgeous hatchling green turtles. Then back to Mantanani to meet up with Jonathan and his drones, and Asmin from Reef Check Malaysia to look at the issues and solutions to plastic pollution within the island's community, before scuba diving over the incredible coral reefs and with that chilled-out hawksbill turtle. Then back in Sandakan to see firsthand how KC is using innovative tech solutions to help mitigate shark and ray bycatch issues on larger fishing trawlers. It's been an amazing ride, but I am eager to head back out scuba diving once again, and today promises to be a great day. Wow, amazing. So you've been like all over Sabah from coast to coast, right? And you've learned all about Malaysia's incredible marine life. So you up for another challenge to do a certification? Okay, well, you never fail to give me new challenges, but I'm ready for whatever it takes. Well, we got something really cool today for you. We got um, Project to Wear, Dive Against Debris. Uh -huh. It's like all about, you know, becoming the padding torchbearer, which, you know, you, you've definitely been doing, you know, all over Saba, all the, the conservation stuff you've been working on. You know, Paddy's mission is to get a, a billion torchbearers wow. and you're one of them, you know, all your friends are them. So what we want to do is get underwater, uh, survey the dive site and pick up as much trash or marine debris as possible. And then we're going to record them all down on our little cool chart. Awesome. Um, and then at the end of the day, we'll be able to get you a, a Project to Wear Dive Against Debris certification. Yay! Well, actually, I've arranged a little treat for us. The MRF team is going to come here, pick us up, and take us out diving to check out some of the local reefs for today. Wow, that's fantastic. You know, I've been stuck in the office, Zoom calls, meetings, on the laptop. It's going to be really cool. I can't wait. Awesome. Let's go and meet them. Luck is on our side, and as we make our way down the jetty to meet with Dr. Nick and the MRF team, the rain clouds clear way for sunshine and blue skies. The sea is calm, and the boat ride out is smooth and fun. We all quickly set up our diving gear, and I really am starting to get to know my way around all my equipment now. All right, so since every dive needs to have a purpose, what's our purpose for diving today? Well, today we're here at Edgel Patches. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be collecting any marine debris we find underwater. Awesome. What are you going to do, Nick? Yeah, so myself and the MRF team, we've got some collection bags. We're going to be picking up any litter we see. And I've got a camera and we'll just try and get some pictures so we can document all of, all of what we're doing. OK, let's go diving. <laughs>
I saw some old nets as well, why didn't we bring those up? You know, because they've been under so long already, it's already got coal growth, so you don't really want to touch them and disturb them, just leave them under there. Oh, but you I know, see. like all the brand new fresh nets that we just saw underwater, you know, let's get them up now. Oh, heavy! Whoa! This is what we got? Huge net, yeah. hey? It's, it's big! So one of the reasons we take this out is, you know, when it stays under for a long time, the, the fish can still go and get caught in it. So we don't want it to end up as a ghost net, so we just get it out of the water. I see. As we sail back inshore, our drone is buzzed by a curious white-bellied sea eagle. But it's not long before we arrive at our next dive site. interesting fact. Experts have estimated that there are roughly 640,000 tons of discarded or lost fishing nets currently in our ocean, many of which continue to trap and kill fish and other marine animals wastefully. Since its inception, the Paddy Dive Against Debris program has removed nearly 2 million pieces of plastic pollution, including discarded fishing gears from the world's coral reefs and seas. After a quick lunch, we gear up and get ready for our final dive of the day. It seems the early morning rains have clouded the water a little, but we still see some great corals and an abundance of reef fish and other marine animals. Unfortunately, time flies by and it's soon the end of the day's diving and we head back to the boat. Another awesome dive. Well, cheers guys. Yes. This has been a fantastic day. We've done some awesome dives and encounters with amazing coral and marine creatures. Not only that, we also managed to clean up some parts of the reef and brought up some marine debris. Yeah, you're right, we did. We brought up that big piece of net. Um, we got to see a whole bunch of things underwater. You saw the blue spotted stingrays. We saw a whole bunch of clownfish and anemones. Um, the one thing that had me a bit worried, you remember the big crown of thorn starfish? So those feed on coral. And, and I saw three on this dive, which is a bit worrying. Um, and we might need to come back and revisit that at some point in the future. You know, a lot of things like that, it's about bringing the Paddy Torchbearer community out and doing good for, for Malaysia. And with that, I think it's probably a good time to get you certified as a Project to Air Dive Against Debris Diver. Wow. Well, I wouldn't be able to do it without your guidance and also mentorship from Nick and 
the rest of the team from the Marine Research Foundation. So thank you guys. Well, you come dive with us again then. Yes. <laughs> Cheers. Well, it's been an incredible month. Not only have I become a certified paddy scuba diver, but I am also proud to call myself a paddy torchbearer and a certified paddy project aware diver against debris. By working with Dr. Nick and the MRF team, I have learned so much about Malaysia's incredible marine environment and the creatures that call it home. From turtle rodeos, to turtle excluder devices, to the turtle island's nesting beaches, and those incredibly cute hatchling turtles and hard-working moms, to a bird's eye view with Jonathan's drones, and plastic recycling with Asmin and Reef Check Malaysia, to the fish markets and fishing trawlers and saving sharks and rays, to finally back to where all my ocean adventures started with my incredible paddy instructor Mark and our dives against debris that truly make a difference. It truly has been an ocean full of adventures here on Borneo Ocean Diaries. <laughs>